Right, so Amazon Connect tutorial. So Amazon Connect tutorial in this we are going to cover mostly related to IVR and chatbot call flow. Okay, and how we can have uh, the what do you say the channel enables uh, for the chat and from the IVR how to procure the number and all those things and the call flow. From here on I'm going to cover a little bit about Amazon Connect what exactly it is and uh, how we can use it and what are the different component. If you are aware about all this you can skip to the end of this video where I'm explaining about the call flow which I am going to perform as a hands-on while uh, explaining the different components uh, from the Amazon Connect side. Okay, uh, so over here what we see is a simple call flow. Okay, this is more or less specific to the contact center journey. So when I say a contact center, contact center is nothing but uh, uh, the, the, what do you say? <laughs> uh, customer representative solutions, right? So where a user can ask or have any query to particular system or the product, right? They can make a call to the contact center from particular business, right? Um, so let's say for example of uh, Zomato, right? So you are, have ordered something on Zomato and you are not getting any, uh, or your order is delayed or something like that, or if you have some item is missing in the food and you want to now check with their, their Zomato, right? Uh, that what happens to your order, why it is delayed or something, some item is missing. So usually you contact or you dial a phone number or you invoke a chat journey uh, through which it goes and it connect you to the agent uh, which assist you with the details. So same thing is over here in Amazon Connect. Amazon Connect is nothing but is a contact center as a service, seek as we say. Uh, it's an omni channel. When I say omni channel, it means it uh, supports uh, Telephone line, it supports SMS, email, uh, chat. So user can contact the agent in either of these channels. Okay. Uh, so just to illustrate uh, what exactly we have over here, uh, uh, you can see my mouse cursor over here. So customer, let's say it's dialed the number. Okay. It goes to the carrier. Carrier can be ATL, Vodafone, AT&T, uh, based on the region it has been deployed. Once it enters to the Amazon Connect, right? So over here, there are different components are there. Uh, which uh, I will have, I will explain in the next slide. Uh, over here, we have the IVR journey. Once the IVR journey is done, let's say it has captured the information from user and all those things, then it will transfer the call to the agent. And in, uh, agent can be sitting uh, in the office premises using uh, private virtual uh, network, or it can be in the public. So if the client has open the access to the public, then they can access to the uh, the CCP, that is uh, uh, Agent Desktop Solution, right, uh, which is provided by Amazon, uh, CCP to the public side, okay. Now, what are the components we use, basically? I will just explain at high level. So, this is Amazon Connect. So, uh, once the call comes, right, uh, let's say if it has to capture the voice input or it has to understand the NLP, so we use this Lex polys to play back, transcribe and comprehend or uh, other services over there. So let's say if it is through SMS and all those things, right? Email services, SMS services. So this is there. Uh, management and CloudWatch, CloudTrail, these are the logs. So if you want to debug and all those things, uh, that is available, these components. And now if you want to have the reporting, like how the call, call behave, uh, uh, what was the average handling time uh, to for particular call and all these things. So you get all this from this uh, com analytic component. Now there are database. So let's say if you want to store the working hours or some other details, right? Uh, yeah, uh, prompts and all those things. So you can use the database functionality over there. Now S3 is again, uh, if you enable the call recording and all the transcription uh, for uh, for the Amazon Connect. So those get stored into the S3 buckets over here and other is also there. And development. So development is Lambda is there, API Gateway is there. So what it means is Lambda is nothing but uh, your uh, function like Node.js, Java, Python and other languages that we have, right? So you write a code over there uh, and let's say for a particular scenario, you want to play back the account balance, right? So Amazon Connect will make a call to Lambda. Lambda will uh, what do you say? Make a call to the APIs which you have exposed, okay? And then from the API, once it gets the response, it will go back 
uh, send the details to Amazon Connect and Amazon Connect will uh, play back to the user. So usually these are the different components. Usually we co consume, there may be few more, uh, but this is at high level. If you cover all these components or understand where we can see the details of all of them, I, I think that will cover at uh, a beginner to intermediate level for the Amazon Connect, okay? Uh, moving on, so the call flow. So this is the call flow I'm planning to design. Okay, so just to illustrate uh, zoom. Okay, uh, I will also explain uh, what it will cover uh, so that uh, uh, when we are performing the hands-on, it will be helpful to understand that. Okay, well, this particular node, let's say this one is performing some X, Y, Z. Okay, so start of the call, we will greet the user uh, saying that, hi, welcome, blah, blah, blah. How can I assist you over here? We will use Lex to understand uh, user uh, intent, okay? So let's say if user say he want to check about the India status. So, okay, the use case is I am asking the user uh, what they want to do. India user can say, I want to check India COVID status. So over here, it will display the or display or play back the India COVID status, uh, book a RT-PCR appointment, okay? So over here, we are collecting few details and how we can leverage that uh, to make a booking appointment. And third is talk to the COVID specialist, where in this, we are checking the, uh, 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 what is that, working hours and all those things. And then we are going to the queue, okay? So uh to explain right uh so once if user say india covid status we are making a web service call and this is a url from which we can get the latest data uh what we will do is we will make a api call how to install the lambda and all those things and how to make a connectivity with amazon connect that we will explain over here then how to play back the dynamic prompt so that we will cover and then the call go to anything else for the booking uh, artificial appointment, right? So what we will do is we will ask the Aadhaar card number, something like that, uh, random, 12 digit number. Then we will ask for the date and the time. And so once we get that, right? Uh, we will play a message, let's say after the two second wait, uh, that okay, your booking has been confirmed and blah, blah, blah. The third part is again, the if a user want to talk to a COVID specialist, right? So we will first do a check, again, go back to Lambda, check for the current working hour, sorry, current time and all those things and validate against the working hours logic that we have and check for also holiday. If it is open, then we will play back message that please wait while we transfer you to, or if it is not, then we will play a message that, okay, uh, right now we are closed, uh, call back some after time, some time, right? Uh, while uh, the call goes in the queue, right? So uh, when I say a queue treatment, it means that, uh, let's say your IVR journey is completed and you're waiting for an agent, right? So you hear a uh, hold music and you can also can hear the uh, promotional message and all those things or any other alternative solutions that to connect to the agent or anything like that, right? So those we will try to play over here how to uh, play a queue treatment, how to configure queue treatment. And then usually we will have only one queue and in that uh, agent who will be also us, uh, will be accepting the call and have a few conversation and then we will the hang up. Uh, there is there anything else I have configured, which is nothing but is there anything else I can assist you with? User can say yes or no. Okay, for no, it will just play the message and hang up the call. If yes, uh, then we will go to the main flow and ask, how can I assist you? If user directly says like uh, any of this, uh, the previous one, right, in the, which was in the main menu, like I want to uh, book appointment, what is the status, India status, or maybe talk to the uh, specialist, COVID specialist. So we will have that directly configured over here as a NLP. So user can say yes, no, or other main menus items, which was uh, this three. Okay. So yeah, that is the plan for uh, Amazon Connect tutorial uh, with respect to various chapter to cover all this uh, thing. And hopefully it will be uh, useful for you guys. Let me know if you any query or comment, uh, if anything particular I need to add to this uh, call flow, I can append to that. Uh, that's not an issue. Uh, as always, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.